Imagine this. Three days ago, something out there in the vastness of space turned its gaze directly toward Earth. Not a comet, not a chunk of cosmic debris, but an object that deliberately shifted its course with a precision that defies everything we know about the laws of physics. This object, cataloged as 3I-ATLAS, executed a 23.4 degree maneuver in mere hours. An act that should be impossible for anything bound by the rules of gravity and momentum. In control rooms from NASA to the European Space Agency, scientists watched in stunned silence as their screens lit up with data that screamed one thing, intent. This wasn't a random drift. This was a reply. And it came just 72 hours after we sent a signal to it. Tonight, we're diving into one of the most unsettling discoveries in human history, an object that challenges our understanding of the universe, hints at technology far beyond our own, and forces us to confront a question we've asked for centuries. Are we alone? If you're as fascinated by the mysteries of the cosmos as I am, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's explore this together. Let's start at the beginning. On July 1st, 2024, a routine sky survey at Mount Palomar Observatory in California picked up a faint blip moving against the backdrop of stars. At first, astronomers thought it was just another interstellar visitor, perhaps a comet or asteroid passing through our cosmic neighborhood. But something was off. Most objects in space tumble chaotically, reflecting sunlight in irregular patterns that reveal their shape and spin. This object, 3I-ATLAS, didn't do that. Its brightness curve was steady, almost mechanical, rotating with a precision of 3.7 hours per cycle. No wobble, no variation. It was as if someone had built a skyscraper-sized gyroscope and sent it spinning through the void. Within hours, the world's most powerful telescopes, the successors to Arecibo, the Very Large Array in New Mexico, and the Square Kilometer Array in Australia, locked onto this anomaly. What they found wasn't just unusual, it was revolutionary. The spectral analysis of 3I-ATLAS painted a picture that didn't fit any natural object we've ever studied. Its surface was composed of nickel-iron alloys in ratios too precise to occur in nature mixed with rare earth elements arranged in patterns that suggested deliberate engineering. The reflectivity of its surface was so uniform it hinted at active maintenance, as if the object was designed to stay pristine despite eons in the harsh environment of space. A metallurgist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory summed it up. This isn't a rock that's been tumbling for millions of years. This is something that was built recently. But it wasn't just the composition that raised eyebrows. The object was emitting organized electromagnetic signals, patterns of prime numbers, binary sequences, and mathematical structures that could only come from an intelligent source. For months, scientists responded, beaming back simple mathematical sequences in an attempt to communicate. We were saying, hello, we understand numbers too, and it listened. The real turning point came on September 15th, 2025, when the Atacama Large Millimeter Array in Chile detected a sudden shift. 3I-ATLAS didn't just send another gentle signal, it unleashed a data burst so complex, it overwhelmed three supercomputers tasked with decoding it. What emerged was a three-dimensional star map, rendered in pure mathematics, depicting nearby star systems as they appeared 40,000 years ago. This wasn't just a map. It was a historical record requiring millennia of observation to create. Embedded within it was something even more chilling, a detailed breakdown of a system 12.3 light years away centered on a red dwarf star with three planets. One of those planets was marked with symbols that, after exhaustive analysis, translated to engineered or constructed, an artificial world or one that had been terraformed. And then there was Earth, clearly marked on their map surrounded by precise orbital data for every satellite we've ever launched. They knew our technology, our position, our capabilities. Next to Earth's coordinates was a single symbol that sent chills through the global scientific community. Target. Three independent linguistic teams confirmed it. In the context of the message, Target wasn't a casual label. It was a mission parameter. 
Within hours, space agencies around the world activated emergency protocols. The European Space Agency recalled a Mars probe crew. NASA postponed an asteroid mining mission. China's space program went silent. And then, on September 18th, 3I slash ATLAS moved. At 1423 UTC, the Goldstone Deep Space Communications Complex in California recorded an unprecedented spike in electromagnetic activity. Plasma discharges rippled across the object's surface in perfect geometric patterns, like an engine firing with surgical precision. For two hours and 17 minutes, it pulsed with energy levels equivalent to a small star, each burst lasting exactly 1.3 seconds with 4.7 second intervals. When the sequence ended, 3I slash ATLAS had changed course by 23.4 degrees in a single maneuver, defying every known principle of orbital mechanics. No propellant, no reaction mass, no heat signature, just a clean, impossible turn. Its new trajectory? A direct intercept with Earth's orbital path projected to arrive on October 31st, 2025, at 2317 UTC, exactly at the distance of the Moon. This kind of maneuver shouldn't be possible. When we adjust a spacecraft's trajectory, it takes months of planning, precise calculations, and massive fuel reserves. 3I slash A T L A S didn't just bend the rules, it rewrote them. A propulsion engineer at SpaceX put it bluntly, it's like they're manipulating space-time itself, making space flow in the direction they want to go. The implications were staggering. If this object could achieve such a feat with no visible propulsion, what kind of technology were we dealing with, and why was it coming here? The global space community shifted into overdrive. Publicly, agencies issued calm statements about interesting interstellar phenomena. Privately, crisis mode took over. The International Space Station powered down non-essential systems. Satellite networks adjusted their orbits. Underground bunkers, like the Cheyenne Mountain Complex, hummed with activity as Cold War-era facilities were reactivated. If you're wondering what this means for us, stick with me, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. But here's where it gets even stranger. 3. I slash A T L A S isn't alone. On October 3rd, the Hubble Space Telescope detected a second object, designated Object B, passing Jupiter's orbit. It was half the size of 3 I slash A T L A S, but shared the same seamless hull and impossible propulsion. Then came Object C spotted by the James Webb Space Telescope conducting methodical sweeps of Saturn's rings, as if studying the ice particles for clues. Object D appeared near Mars, scanning its moons in a spiral pattern and sending short-range signals to an unknown recipient. By October 10th, seven objects had been cataloged, all converging on Earth in a formation spaced exactly 4.7 million kilometers apart, a pattern military analysts recognized as a classic escort formation. These weren't random travelers. They were a coordinated fleet, each ship distinct in design, materials, and energy signatures. Object B's hull was crystalline, defying the vacuum of space. Object C's surface shifted like living metal. Object D moved in thermodynamic silence as if partially outside our reality. A xenoarchaeologist consulting for NASA put it starkly, This isn't one civilization. It's a coalition of multiple species, each with its own technology, working together. The communication between these objects was relentless. Complex data streams in mathematical languages our quantum computers couldn't decipher. They were adapting, adjusting their approach based on our actions. Signal frequencies shifted after major news broadcasts. Formation patterns tightened following military exercises. They were studying us, learning our behavior, and planning accordingly. Most unsettling of all, these objects didn't just move through space, they vanished and reappeared. Object F disappeared near Venus for three minutes and reappeared near the Moon, crossing 25 million kilometers in an instant. This wasn't faster than light travel, it was something else, as if they were stepping outside space itself. The technology implied, space folding, dimensional manipulation, suggested a civilization that treats physics as a suggestion, not a law. So, what does this mean? 
there are four leading scenarios specialists are debating. First, this could be a diplomatic mission, a galactic delegation introducing Earth to a cosmic community. The escort formation might represent different species here to witness our first contact. Second, it could be a scientific expedition studying us as we study ants with no intent to interfere. Third, it's a reconnaissance mission assessing our technology and defenses before a larger operation. And fourth, the one nobody wants to say out loud, it's an intervention, a coordinated effort to enforce some galactic agenda, whether that's integration or elimination. The precision, the surveillance, the sheer power of their technology leans toward the latter too, but the star map and mathematical dialogue suggest they want us to understand their presence. Why announce themselves if conquest is the goal? Why target Earth specifically? As October 31st approaches, the world waits. 3i slash ATLAS will pass within lunar distance, giving it three days to scan Earth with unimaginable precision. Our cities, our militaries, our technology, it will see everything. Governments are preparing quietly, but the truth is stark. If this is hostile, our defenses are irrelevant. We fire rockets, they bend reality, we split atoms, they forge stars. Yet, there's hope in the unknown. If this is contact, it could mark humanity's leap into a galactic era. If it's judgment, we'll face it as a species united by curiosity and resilience. What triggered their response? Did our signals cross a threshold, or were we chosen long ago? Are we one of many worlds they visited, or the only one left? In 39 days, we'll know. Until then, keep looking up, stay curious, and join the conversation in the comments. Hit subscribe to follow this unfolding story, because on Halloween night 2025, the universe will finally answer back.